Brittany Griner's wife was at the press conference with Biden. And she was quoted with saying how happy she is, and we're happy for her, and how she and, and Brittany are going to work for freedom of the others left in Russia. And the others left in Russia includes a so-called former Marine and somebody who is some kind of uh, security contractor uh, who uh, looks like it might be a spy. And so they're going to be working to get the others out to the freedom of the others, they said, left in Russia. And so, you know, we are disappointed in that statement. Extremely disappointed because if uh, anything, if, if she thought there was something wrong with being arrested for marijuana, uh, then, she, then Sherelle, Brittany's wife, and Brittany uh, would be working for the freedom of all the Africans who have been locked up on marijuana, drug charges, and otherwise inside uh, the United States. But of course, none of that has happened. And uh, it, one of the reasons it cannot happen is because of colonialism and colonial mode of production that dominates all life uh, uh, in the world uh, that exists uh, for peoples of the world who are participating within the uh, context of the global economy, uh, even though people are struggling against it and creating crisis after crisis because uh, of the struggle against it. So that's what, uh, what we are looking at. And so this thing about Brittany Griner, I just hate being used, and I and and we're not chumps, and the and the United States government is attempting to pimp us by uh, saying that somehow uh, what's happening to Bryna uh, in Russia uh, is an example of oppression and exploitation, and uh, we've heard uh, that uh, Brittany Bryna is now free, but of course that's a lie. She can't be free because she is an African. And she might come to the United States under the illusion of being free. But the reality is that African people in the United States are colonized. And I think it's extremely significant that the United States would say that Russia freed Brittany Griner. Uh, because I think uh, part of what the United States, and we hear all the time, anytime masses of African people have been engaged in struggle for the last 100 years or so, uh, struggling against colonialism, struggling, uh, that included even people... Uh, uh, like Paul Robeson and W.E.B. Du Bois and others, uh, it, it was always said, the African People's Socialist Party, that somehow it was the Russians uh, who uh, were responsible for this is issue of freedom that we were fighting for. Now the United States government is telling us that Russia has uh, forgotten about everybody else except Brittany, that the Russians have freed uh, Brittany Griner. And I posit to you, I tell you that Brittany is not free. And if she thinks so right now, uh, she'd better be careful on her way from the airport uh, where she landed to her home, uh, because there's a great possibility that she could become uh, one of those African women in the United States who are filling the prisons uh, uh, for the most uh, casual and ridiculous kinds of charges. So what we're saying is that what has to happen, brothers and sisters and comrades, first of all, uh, we just tired of being used like that. And we do have the ability to think. We do have the ability to come to conclusions uh, different from those which are put uh, forward to us by those who are responsible for exploitation and oppression. 